Hi, I'm Frank Cosentino, the chef doctor. Today we're going to do some uh, fresh pasta and we're going to roll it using a uh, mozzarella. Uh, this tool right here. The mozzarella is the traditional rolling pin for pasta making and I made this one on my uh, in my wood shop actually in another video on my other channel Hudson Valley Woodcrafting. So it's part of a two-part series. If you're interested in seeing how I made the mozzarella, take a look at that and put a link in the description below. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Costantino. The important lesson here today. So our fresh pasta is going to start with uh, an AP flour. We're going to be using a little bit of semolina flour here, and I use three to one ratio. Uh, for this particular pasta, we're doing a tagliatelle. So we're going to use one and a half, 150 grams of uh, AP flour, 50 grams of semolina flour, two eggs, and a pinch of sea salt. And we're going to use a traditional Italian pasta method. So we're going to start by mixing our flours together with a little touch of salt right in the middle of our workspace here. I'm working on a wooden table here. It's a solid maple. Nice countertop that I have here in my kitchen. And once we establish the mix of the flours, we're going to create a little well here in the in the middle and we're going to begin to put our eggs in okay. and we're using two whole eggs make sure we get all the albumin out of there okay. right. and now for the making of the pasta we're going to use a fork and we're going to begin to beat our eggs here. These are nice fresh whole eggs. And you know they're fresh because that albumin, that egg white is nice and firm and plump. Okay, we're whisking that with our fork. Okay, we want to get that flour mixed in. Bringing a little bit in at a time forming that thick paste in the middle of the well. Okay, again, bringing more flour in. What I'm looking for here is I want this egg to sit on its own in the middle without being liquid anymore. And I don't want to break the well here. I want to make sure that I got that egg mixture fully thickened with the flour. And at this point, you see it's nice and thick. It's not really moving too much on the board. We're going to go ahead and bring in the rest of our flour into the center and work it into the egg mixture. Okay, so if you're doing a ratio of this for home, if we did 150 grams of flour, 50 grams of semolina, that's 200 grams total. It's one egg per. You can make this without the semolina. I like the semolina here because it gives me a little bit of a firmer pasta. Okay, but you can certainly make it with straight uh, AP flour. Okay. Right. And this is a type of pasta called pasta al uovo in Italian, which means egg pasta, right? There are pastas that are made without eggs that use a, a, a semolina exclusively. Okay, that's a different type of pasta. But for this one, this is a classic pasta al uovo using a ratio of 150 grams of flour, 50 grams of semolina, two whole eggs, no water, and just a pinch of salt. So now, cleaning off the fork here, we have our pasta dough coming together. Okay, And we want to be careful because we want to resist the temptation of saying, oh, it's getting a little dry, we want to add some water to it. We don't want to do that. Okay, We want to keep it together, pressing all that flour in. Okay. And then we're going to begin to knead the dough and the kneading technique, I'm bringing my hand up, I'm pushing my heel down into the dough. Okay, and I'm starting to work it through. Okay, again, I'm incorporating all of this flour. When I'm done with this pasta, dough, there should be nothing left on the table in the way of flour, nor am I using any additional flour. Okay, I'm going to take all the dough off my hands, 
And now we're going to work this into a nice elastic dough. Okay, so we've worked this dough for about five minutes. We got a nice elasticity here. And I have a dough that I made here earlier this morning. And you need to let it rest for at least 30 minutes. This rested a lot longer than that. Um, and then I took it out to get it to room temperature. But you cannot roll the dough out as soon as you've made it. You have to let the dough rest a little bit. Okay, this would be the time when you'd start making your sauce or prepping your ingredients for your, for your finishing of the pasta. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Okay, so. We have our dough here, and I have just a little bit of flour now that I'm be working with here, okay, on my table to get this dough rolled out. And we're going to start to use our mattarello. The purpose of the length of the mattarello, besides the fact that we're going to roll out a large circle of dough, is for leverage, right? So I can really put my body into this as I'm rolling this out. Okay. I'm going to turn the dough, make sure it's well floured. cut into tagliatelle. For the tagliatelle we're going to cut by hand with a knife and what we want to do is we want to begin to roll the sheets up. I'm going to put a little more dust here on flour. We don't want our tagliatelle to stick. And we're going to roll up the edges. And we're going to make our tagliatelle. Okay, we have a nice clean linen towel here. which we're going to put our tagliatelle on and dry them out a little bit before we cook them. So we made some fresh egg pasta today and we used our mattarello to make that. Again, if you're interested in seeing the video on how the mattarello is made, um, I'll put a link below to my Hudson Valley Woodcrafting channel. You can see me turn this on the lathe. Um, the pasta is ready to cook. We're going to boil that in salted water for about three to four minutes and 
toss it with our, with our favorite sauce. And perhaps uh, there'll be a video coming up on uh, the Chef Doctor channel, which will use some of the fresh tagliatelle in the dish. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.